Welcome back to the sneaker bench. This is a big day for us. We are doing our first collection video. We're gonna start with my collection. Eventually we'll make a video about Spiro's collection, but that's gonna be a way longer video. <laughs> it's because this guy's got a jillion shoes. I'm behind the but, camera, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spiro's here, he's behind the camera. Um, yeah, I mean, it, if I don't get into it, it's gonna be way too long, so let's just start. You can see some of them, some of them yeah. are on the ground, some of them are next to him, some yeah, of them are yeah. off the camera, but he's gonna be going around showing you yeah we'll show you everything uh on feet i'm wearing the nike zoom ouch wearing the nike zoom alphas i love this shoe 30 bucks in 2016 on freaking ebay such a comfy shoe such it's like a old it just it gets got it's got that runner vibe vintage that, vibe that old runners runner vibe i was on that i was on that the new balance made it a huge thing i get it but the 90s runners i've been on that man uh next up Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm tying this shoe. Um, let's do probably my most, maybe my most worn pair of sneakers this year. The Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66s in this uh, rust orange and blue colorway. This has just become my travel shoe. When I went to Africa, I wore these uh, the entire time while I was in Africa. I think it was like one of the only shoes I brought. When I went to India, this, this and a pair of boots were the only shoes I brought, so. Just a great, great all-around shoe. It's also a really good bar shoe because it looks better when you wear it. It's like that, it just, I think it looks better as it gets beat up. One of those great shoes. Next up, this is a pair that was actually gifted to me by the guy behind the camera, by Spiro here. <laughs> um, when we were going to college, we gave each other gifts. Um, I gave you a piece of the Chicago Bulls uh, court from the 90s, like the old Chicago stadium. One of my uncles gave me, uh, like he has, I guess he had a connect or something. I don't know how you have a connect for that kind of thing. You got but the court I just connect. Had, I had a piece and I gave it to him. Um, he gave me the core black ultra boost 2.0s fire shoe, fire shoe. Look at the boost. Those have gotten yeah, worn. Dude. Those have gotten the, worn. These have gotten a lot of wear. These they are, weren't like that when I gave it to they, him. They, no, they that. were not, <laughs> they were not. But hey, that's what we do with sneakers. <laughs> we wear our sneakers, all right? And I just, I love this shoe so much. Um, obviously I've worn it quite a bit and so it's been in the vault a little bit recently just because I don't want to keep beating these up and I don't want these to get too beaten up but I do like these like I I just can't I gotta keep them at least a close to wearable they I gotta, gotta keep them wearable. wearable for a long time these ones I have not kept wearable these are the New Balance 574s um, I wore these to Holi, which is the Indian festival where you throw paint around and stuff. And uh, normally the paint, it'll wash out of it, whatever. You, it's like not like a, a strong paint that stays on and stuff. It's like usually pretty easy to get out of stuff. It's not easy to get out of the suede shoe. <laughs> that was probably, that was an oversight on my part <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Should have worn something leather. But you can see like, there's like paint stains on this shoe all everywhere. It's hard now, to tell. It looks kind of just it, like it's dirt, but it's like, got like the red like, undertone. Yeah, it's like got the red and there's like a little bit of the blue undertone in different places. I do think it looks kind of cool, but I just don't wear these because this is a shoe that definitely looks better clean in my opinion. Um, I'll still throw them on every once in a while though. Next, the Air Max Pluses um, in the OG purple colorway. I love this shoe. I have beat this shoe. I've worn this shoe to the bar. I think it looks better beat up. They're the, so fire. These are so sick. The purple gradient on the toe box there is crazy, dude. I freaking love that like dark purple to like lavender almost gradient. That just looks sick. Um, the orange, huge flash, love this shoe. Um, one of my favorites in your your collection it, it's it's really it's definitely up there um for me i don't know it's probably not top three but it's probably top seven i would say <laughs> <laughs> wow that's going really far you made a big proclamation <laughs> next up we have the bacon air max 180s we have a full review of this shoe but i just like the shoe it's super wearable it's super easy it's very just like it's one of those shoes i'm just glad to have in the collection it's not like anything insane but it's comfortable and what just it's got a splinter i just like lean back on the fence and i got like a splinter oh gosh but those are really cool that's like kind of a niche kind of air max that a lot of people don't know yeah, it's like about kind of like an in the know type of air max i like it yeah i agree very cool um next the up. next ones 
another wearing. kind of in the no shoe, but fire, fire. shoe. Fire. Oh. Skepta Air Max 98s. In 97s, 97s. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. <laughs> 97s. Um, fire freaking shoe, dude. I this is one of those shoes that like I wear them a pretty decent bit. Not as much as like not a ton because I don't want to beat these up. These will not look better like beaten to a ground. But I do wear them. Uh, it's just a shoe that's so much fun to look at. Just that iridescent like in the light, how it changes. And especially on the green, it looks ah, oh, this shoe is freaking awesome. One of our um, first videos too. One of our first videos. Um, if you remember, these shoes came with a smell. They don't smell anymore. Thankfully, <laughs> they came a little weird. This is probably the coolest basketball shoe I've ever owned. It is the KD Seven in the Black History Month colorway. Oh my gosh, they're beat. They these beat. are beat. I I hooped in these, these and are past beat. Oh yeah, these are. Like, if you remember, if you had a KD7 back in the day, when the mesh starts to rip off, it's like, oh, no, this shoe's not that durable. It's but fucked. it's a fire shoe. It's ripped off on both, <laughs> on both of my uh, feet. But they still perform. Like, I've hooped in these recently. They're still fine to hoop in, but they're just, they, these these are past their prime. It's sure. a blast from the past, though. If you've got yeah. a shoe like that, you know you've, you've been in the, in the mix for a minute. Yeah, true. <laughs> Um, the next ones, the Yeezy Wave Runners, classic shoe. I'm uh, like, I, this shoe's just fire. amazing. Fire shoe, fire shoe. Not going to talk too much about those, but one of my, this was my first purchase I made with my internship money. So it's, it's got a little bit of a story, I guess. I don't know. Um, next got these for 20 bucks on eBay and I've tried to find them again. Hold, on, hold, hold them up. I've what tried to find them again for uh just people on like my fashion tiktok thing and i there's some sizes but not a ton they're a dickies just like work boot i think they're from like the 90s but these are just i love the colors on these things these are crazy like the it, the brown the forest green the yellow hits on the inside and then on the toe box you got the freaking or not the toe box the tongue you have the patch the old dickies like maximalist patch i freaking love that that's so fire but Got these for like 20 bucks. Um, yeah, uh, nothing, not a ton to say. Uh, let's see, let's go with these next. This was an impulse purchase, <laughs> but not one I'm mad at. Uh, this is the Reebok Question Mids. Freaking, basically a boot of a sneaker um, I just, in the reverse Georgetown colorway. I watched the Allen Iverson documentary the night before I bought these, and I was like, I gotta get an Allen Iverson shoe in the collection. That's how they get you. <laughs> That's how they got me. I paid 40 bucks for them, so I'm not mad at all about these. I do wear these a little bit, but yeah, I mean, they're, I still, I think it's a cool shoe. They are dope. Um, I... Next up, the Drake Nocta Glide. Fire shoe, fire shoe. Cr one of the more crazy shoes in my collection, for sure, in terms of just like wearability, but there's so many things about the shoe that I actually, I absolutely love. The orange pods at the bottom are so sick to me. And it's like, it's really silly that like, that's a part of sh the shoe that I like maybe the most is the orange pods that like nobody else would see. But it's like, that's what I like. So it's like, it doesn't have to be what everyone else likes. I like that part, you know? These Those are, are fire. These Those are, are awesome. so sweet. Here's One of the, the best sneakers of 2023. Uh, also, there's a little inside silver inside patch. Love that detail as well. Freaking sick. Next, I'm just gonna do my running shoes. Uh, Brooks Glycerin 20s, really solid running shoe. Really solid running shoe. Very, very comfortable. Cool I got colorway these. too. I like this colorway. It's kind of like Bears, Chicago Bears-esque. Uh, they got that navy and orange kind of vibe. I'm a fan. Um, I got these for my mom for Christmas as well. I bought her obviously a different colorway, but she loves them as well. Uh, mom wouldn't fuck with the Chicago Bears colorway? Probably not. All right. My mom likes, like, more feminine running shoes. Like, she likes the pinks and right, uh, stuff right. like that. Um, next up. Okay, two two shoes from Kith. Here, first one is going to be the Kith Clark Samba. Maybe, probably my best pickup of 2023. Maybe my favorite shoe in my collection. Um, actually, for sure, my favorite shoe in my collection. This shoe is so sick. I love this shoe so much. The crepe outsole, I don't know how to like take care of a crepe outsole, but like at all. That's probably something I definitely should look into. But like, it gets darker. I didn't know that. I think it just picks up dirt. Yeah, it, like picks up dirt real easy. 
Um, but just super fire chew. Like the crepe outsole is just so much fun to just like squish. And it's a, it's a really silly thing to like about a shoe, but I like it. Um, super versatile shoe too. You can wear this with like legitimately anything. It's not super sneakery either. It's a little, yeah. little fashion-y. Yeah, it's a little fashion-y. It's not like as sneakery, but I kind of like both. So the next one, this one's an OG pair, fire shoe. It's something that I wanted when it came out and I just got it recently or in the last year. The Kith freaking um, Ultra Boost from 2016. The knit pattern on this is so sick. This is a top three shoe in my collection, undoubtedly. I wanted this shoe when it came out so badly. There was one guy in our school who had it, and every time I saw it, I was like, Ugh. Like, <laughs> like, I, like, I was happy for him that he had it, but I was like very jealous. Like, I was like, I want that shoe so bad. And I just couldn't get them because they were like reselling for like $300. And I got these for a steal. I think I got these for like right around 100 bucks. Um, they were slightly worn, but it's like, this is... Uh, the knit pattern is just so cool on this Fire. shoe. It's, and they're so comfortable. They're kind of annoying to put on. Uh, the sock like is a little annoying, but they're also waterproof, which is cool. These they're are like- Waterproof? Like, yeah, these are like, you can like pour water on- like, Not the top, not the, the, top, the sides. Like, you the can sides. Pour. It's got all that like piping to make sure water doesn't seep through. So it's like- Cause that was from the Aspen collab. Yeah, this is from like- yeah. Whatever. Those are really cool. I, but that is probably looking around Maybe the Skeptos are my favorite. Maybe those are my favorite. I'm not sure, but those are so, so cool. I freaking love that shoe. And, like, every once in a while, I'll look in my collection and I'll be like, I'm just, I'm so happy I <laughs> have that shoe, man. That's awesome. Um, all right. Now, yeah. beater, absolute beaters of bar shoes. Um, this is the shoes I wear when I go to the, like, dive bars that aren't very clean. It's the New Balance 550 in an all-white colorway. I still love the 550. I will have another pair of 550s in my collection at some point, but I just, I love this shoe. Um, it was basically like my all-white Air Force Ones um, where people just like wear them out and aren't worried about beating them up. But freaking, that shoe's awesome. We got three, three left. shoes left. Three shoes left here. Um, cool stories for all three of them, actually. Uh, Air Max 96, slime green. So cool. Fire shoe. Can't find these Fire anywhere. Fire shoe. These are $700 on StockX. I went to round two. I was just walking around. I wasn't even like thinking about buying a pair of sneakers. Uh, I asked the guy, is, is this an error? For $120 when it's selling for $700 on StockX, is this like a mistake? This kind of stuff doesn't happen. And he was like, honestly, it seems like a mistake to me, but like, we'll give it to you for that price anyways. And I was like, dude, you're freaking awesome. That's sweet of you. And so I got these for a hundred and like around a hundred or 120 bucks and just these are beautiful dude those it's need also, to come back so bad yeah like these are so sick also fun fact these are the if you into friends the episode where they play football on thanksgiving this is the shoe that rachel was wearing in that episode which i'm a fan of friends <laughs> it's a fun fact but i did find out another this next one's another gift from the guy behind the camera <laughs> we've been friends for a long time so we give each other a lot of gifts and, and we like sneakers, so we, we get like each sneakers. other sneakers. So we get each other sneakers. And it is the Shima Shima uh, Air Max 1s. Air Max 1s were very low on my Air Max list. And these have increased my liking for them quite a bit. They're so comfortable, super simple colorway that you can rock with like basically anything, but still like premium materials. And you can get these for under 100 bucks, which is an absolute steal. Um, especially when it comes with premium materials. The suede solid, the leather solid, it's a comfortable shoe. Um, yeah, I mean, the, this thing, and also, like, it's something, where, like, if when you wear it with shorts or something, which I'm excited to do in the su summer, it's like, that lining's gonna pop, that lining's gonna look really cool, it's like a really silly thing, or it's a really little thing, that, like, not everybody will notice, but I'll notice it, and I'll think it's cool, and it, I'm just, I'm very happy to have this shoe in my collection, the Air Max, I have a, kind of a lot of Air Maxes, I didn't realize. You're maxed story. out. I'm kind of, like, I have, like... Six pairs of Air Maxes. I didn't realize I was like that. <laughs> <laughs> the next pair, and this is the, my most recent sneaker pickup. And the final. And the final shoe in my collection. Very cool shoe to me, um, but it's very simple as well. It is the Reebok Club C Revenges in the India exclusive uh, 
with the India exclusive writing here. That says Reebok in Hindi, and you can only get these in retail stores in India. And when I went to India, most very recently, I picked these up and I'm just really happy to have these in my collection. Very cool, like weird shoe that like not everyone's gonna know about. And like, there's no articles online about it, but just- There's nothing online there's about nothing this. There's nothing online about these. But the people in the, I asked the people in the Reebok store, I was like, how, why are they like nowhere? And they're like, oh, it's literally only sold in, Re in Reebok stores and retail Reebok stores in India. And I just think that's awesome. It's a really cool souvenir to have. And it's cool that like my souvenir is a sneaker. I think that's awesome. Um, and yeah, these are, this is a pair of all white shoes that I will not be beating up. You've seen my other mostly white shoes get pretty beaten up. These are gonna be staying very, very clean for the foreseeable future, unless something terrible happens like what happened with my Ultra Boost. If you're interested about that story, you can, there, there, we did a whole sneaker blunder video. Click the button above. And so maybe there'll be a button. I, there's I a button. <laughs> okay, there's a button up there, and you can click that and hear all of the bad stories that have happened to us with sneakers. But anyways, that is the Reebok Club Seas and the India exclusive uh, all-white colorway. Uh, that was my entire sneaker collection. How many pairs is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Eighteen pairs of sneakers. That's... I have a lot of I have too many sneakers, but I'm gonna keep buying them because sneakers are awesome. Uh, let us know if you had a favorite in my collection. Let us know if you have a favorite in your own collection or like what your pop your top three would be in your own collection. Because we want to know what you guys are into. Yeah, well, yeah, it's it's cool to see like when people comment and they're like, oh, like this is our favorite sneaker like that I own. It's like I'd want to read that for sure. So hope you guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching the secret. Wait, hold page. on! Don't oh. end the video yet. Oh, don't. <laughs> I was gonna say it's cool to see like you know you have like the BHM KDs and you've got all yeah. like the old ultras and stuff like that. So sometimes that like older stuff that you just haven't gotten rid of is like the coolest parts of people's collections. Yeah. So let us know if you got sneakers like that where like maybe it's just like a deep cut people might not really know about. Oh um, yeah. But you still you still have them. Let us know about that. And um, I was gonna say something else, but I think that's. <laughs> have a nice day. Have a nice Thanks day. for watching the sneaker bench. Subscribe if you want. Have a nice day. Peace!